I'll be fine. In a moment, it's probably just cramp. Ah. <laughs> oh. Mm. What's going on, it's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and you already see Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? Hello, governor. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, Doctor Who, season three, episode six. This is the Lazarus experiment. Thank you so much. Make sure you stay to the end because you know me and Rakai go chop it up, have a bit of a back and forth, if you will, over the things we like and the things you know we may be scratching our heads over. So, without any further ado, let's get started. New New York, old New York. Yeah, all in one night. Relatively speaking, everything should be just as it was. Books, CD. He ain't dropping her off, is he? Oh, got your knickers out? <laughs> I'm sorry. Martha, are you there? Pick it up, will you? Yes, Mum. Right then, pretend that you're out if you like. I hope we get to see that actress, her mama. I will change what it means to be human. Uh oh. Sorry. You were saying. It looks like you yeah, might have to stick around a little bit. Man, if you don't kiss that girl. Seems to have to me a lot. Thank you. For everything. It was my pleasure. She fine. That's what I'm saying, Doc. You tripping, man. Come on, Doc. Like, I just want to grab him by his ears oh. and just be like, what are you doing, bro? Come on. Yeah, but that's the thing though. He's not he's not over uh Rose though, for real. He just refused to deal with it. No, I'm sorry. Did he say he was gonna change what it means to be human? Come on, man. Stay focused. <laughs> At least he's back. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Your concern is touching. The people in that room will represent billions of pounds with the potential investment. Mr. Saxon wants I mean, like, that woman right there, she's old. Yeah. He looked like he used to play hopscotch with Moses. Like, Goodness, boy. Yes. I don't know who be doing the casting, man, but I'll be on it. Oh. It's an interesting perfume. Uh -uh. It's called Youth. Get off me. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, she said so. She said no. <laughs> it's like, uh -uh. Yeah, no. Anyway, I think it suits you. In a James Bond kind of way. James Bond? A little bit. Did he really turn his nose up a little bit? Mm-hmm. Lazarus Laboratory. I mean, but you really gotta think about it though. Armed with a sonic screwdriver, he lives a way more daring life than James Bond. Keep this up, I'll end up in all the gossip columns. You might actually. You should keep an eye out for photographers. And mum, she's coming too, even dragging Leo along with her. Leo in black tie. That I must see. She's yeah, like, she you're gonna introduce her. me? Your friend? <laughs> she's in the PR department. I'm head of the PR department, actually. You're joking. I put this whole thing together. So do you know what's Sisters gonna be sisters. No, actually that's that's about it. We haven't had much time to chat, you know, busy. Mm -hmm. Busy? Doing what exactly? Mm. Uh, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> make it sound like they was at Diddy's house at a free cost. <laughs> it is, I believe, the most important in advance since Rutherford split the atom. The biggest leap since Armstrong stood on the moon. Dang, that's some bold claims. For real. Listen, if he can just... That's right in the doc's bag, too. If he can just de-age a little bit, that's... Oh, I think, right I think you probably called it. That has to be it, right? Because there's no way that dude really looks like that, right? Yeah. That's got to be a like little bit of makeup. Oh, yep, it de-aged him. You called it. Look, she that old lady was like, me next. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am 76 years old. Mm. And I am reborn. He's now, like, yeah. Now, from my other BBC heads, y'all know that dude from uh, Sherlock. He's a uh, golly, um, Sherlock's brother, right? Mycroft, Mycroft, whatever his name. Possibly, uh, it must be a mm -hmm. trick. Yeah. Oh, it's not a trick. I wish it was. Yeah. He can't wait to. Yeah. yeah. See, he got the chicks around him. He's like, yeah, no Cialis for me tonight. <laughs> Look, she like, listen, me next. Because mm -hmm. you know she want to give that young man a test run. Yeah. Think of the money we'll make. Mm -hmm. People will sell their souls they to be will. transformed like that. 
just thought that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yep. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, what's the side effect? You know there's gonna be a side effect. Commercially, you are joking. That cause chaos. Oh, they're going for the bag. Chaos. Change. A chance for humanity to evolve, to improve. Man, I'm trying to tell you that right there. That that's vault tech money. That. <laughs> Well, this building must be full of laboratories. I said we do our own tests. Lucky I've just collected a DNA sample then, isn't it? Oh. Oh, she's smart. Mm -hmm. Come up over there. Tiny flat of a butcher's shop. I can't lie. The minute I turn you on, the first thing I'm doing, I'm going to the court to hoop. Test out my brand new knees. Yeah. <laughs> so, man, I just got these Megan knees. Thank you, ready to go. You've laid the foundations mm. for an empire. An empire we can Listen, she together. can't wait to get them get Oh I ain't mad at her. She like listen. Look at yourself, woman. Oh. Oh now he's feeling himself now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was okay when he was in his early millions, but now he... <laughs> his own genes instructed them to rejuvenate. But they're still mutating now. Because he missed something. Mm -hmm. Something in his DNA has been activated. We won't let him stabilize him. Oh, he's about to turn into a gremlin. To change him. Change him into what? Don't get him wet. But I think That's right. Find out. <laughs> that woman said they were going upstairs. Let's go. Wait, he was eating after midnight, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my triumph, and I will not be denied. Not by you. Not after everything I've done. Oh, you backed me because girl. you saw profit. Your concern was financial. <laughs> Mm. When the device is ready, mm. I'll be rejuvenated too. We could be rich and young and together. You think I'd waste another lifetime on you? Wow. Mm. My man hit the reset button and. Then you'll know that I'll protect my involvement in the project. I'm sure uh, Mr. Saxon will be interested. Uh, What's going on? Uh, yeah, you better gremlin. I'll be fine. In a moment, it's probably just crap. Ah. <sighs> oh. Mm. Oh, no. Look like that thing from Howard the Duck. Oh, that will not do. She doesn't stay focused. Look, she's found a bloke. So what? There's something going on, Leo. I can feel it. That's black people right there. Their intuition is Quick. second to none. Yeah. Oh, like, oh dude. wait a minute. It's good. I bet he I bet he ate her. Yeah. Ugh. And some old lady clothes. Mr. Jones. I'd recognize the smell of that soap anyway. Professor. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm like, you don't get your hand off me. <laughs> That's the power of you. Oh, look at it. Mm -hmm. Left nothing but the skin. Is that lady? I knew it. Oh, she look like a mummy. She like she bit a lemon warhead. Yeah, he's an energy vampire. I'll show you the view. It's extraordinary. Like a lot of things around here, then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She didn't put on her a thought party dress. Mm -hmm. No, he's a friend of my daughter's. Perhaps she should choose her friends more carefully. You gonna just drop What's that dude? Yeah, you gonna just drop that and walk away? Yeah. That's what you mean? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> come in with his full hater vibe on. Been around even longer than I have. Are you looking pretty good for your age? Thank you. No, oh, my guess. He's not going to start clucking like he's on angel dust, like Smokey. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. Some people live more in 20 years than others do in 80. It's not the time that matters, it's the person. But if it's the right person. Mm -hmm. That's what you do with it. Oh, what a curse. Mm -hmm. Look at what you've done to yourself. Who are you to judge me? I'm actually a time mm, lord. Time lord. <laughs> Tishy's a monster. Uh, I know the age thing's a bit freaky, but it works for Catherine Zeta Jones. Mm. <laughs> the doc is like, yo, you ain't seen this? 
Oh, no, no. Oh. No, no, he no. He upgraded. I know she like, look, I told you. I told you. Uh, she was going to give, gonna give him them. them. <laughs> yeah. Get what? Don't look up. Yeah. Your people are in serious danger. You need to get out of here right now. Don't be ridiculous. The biggest danger here is choking on an olive. If somebody ever yelled that in a public space, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not <Nah>. questioning. <laughs> mm. Bet you believe it now. So the biggest danger here is choking on an olive. Well, <laughs> you get your olive the ass over. Oh, no. Oh. oh, dang, that was quick, too. Yeah. That's going to turn into some Resident Evil type mess. Ugh. I'm trying to buy some time. Let's not waste it. Leo, look at me. Focus on me. Let's see your eyes. Okay, he's got a concussion. Yo, Leo's a hero. I'm about to let that man be. Now that it went down to Freddy Krueger's lair. Uh. Uh, nothing good is gonna come from this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello. I've got to go back. You can't. <laughs> I feel that. I'm like, yo, are you tripping? <laughs> Time for you to get out too. I'm not leaving. Him. Oh, damn. So what kind of hoodoo did he put on you? Mm -hmm. So that happens when you take that magic copper ride. Yeah, so <laughs> that, he's talking about he got the magic stick. <laughs> the doctor and her, they'll look out for each other. She turned her back on us. Went in there with that thing for him. He must be so on guard. Mm. That part. Yeah. She just met him. Is your daughter still in there? Well, here come the hater. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. He's, I smell torchwood. Maybe he won't destroy him or even to get at us. But we're trapped. Well, you know, it's a slight problem. You mean you don't have a plan? Yes, the plan was to get inside here. <laughs> I don't have nothing past that. But the potential is still there. Looked away in your jeans. Forgotten about until Lazarus unlocked it by mistake. It's like Pandora's box. Exactly. And the shoes, by the way. Get <laughs> mm. you some, folks. Take that, take that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bad boy, baby. <laughs> he gave him the venom treatment. It's blender, then. Really shouldn't take that long just to reverse the polarity. I must be better out of practice. That was a humble flex. <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah. Human again. It's kind of pitiful. Elliot's all that too. Man, y'all better put him in handcuffs or something. Yeah. Just cheeked out. And no sun's out, but he got his buns out, mm -hmm. bruh. Is he fixed or is he dead? Oh, oh, never mind. I saw the cover. Mm -hmm. She's here. She's what was the girl. secret they told mom? Oh, Mrs. Jones. So, mm -hmm. I feel a smack. Yup. Mm -hmm. Away from my daughter. Mom, what are you doing? All of the mothers. Every. <laughs> and it was Tish who invited everyone to this thing in the first place. So I'd say technically, it's her fault. <laughs> I was asking, I was like, oh, is he dead or? Was that the time? Nah, man, I ain't doing that. You ain't seen what I've seen. Mm -hmm. you too. Remember, but, Rose's but, mama was the same way, though. But not only that, but that's what happened when you broke in. These women ain't been to no therapy. <laughs> Got him. How I? Church. Cathedral. It's Suffolk Cathedral. He told me. Boy, Doc got two of them sisters. <laughs> yeah. What? I swear, the Doc keep upgrading. <laughs> but the Doc still only got a sonic screwdriver. That's it. That's all he needs. 
No, it ain't. <laughs> He's like, nah, you can use a gun. <laughs> Flamethrower, maybe. Grenade yeah, launcher. Where, yeah, where is Jack when you need Came here before. A lifetime ago. He got a whole he got a whole chia pet on his chest. Mm. The sound of planes and bombs outside. The blitz. You read about it. I was there. I was here. You're too young. And so mm -hmm. are you. <laughs> oh, here it come again. I would arm myself. Fight back. Defeated. That's what you were trying to do today? That's what I did today. What about the other people who died? That part. Don't nobody want to become that. Avoiding death. That's being human. Strongest impulse to cling to life with every fiber of being. I'm only. Yes, sir. I've simply been more successful. Ugh. I'm more now than I was. More than just an ordinary human. Who the hell wants to be part of centipede? So he's like Venom. Mm-hmm. Maybe you are older than you look. That's some I'm cool lighting on the dock right there. Life is That's awesome. One. Especially the shadows in his eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get tired. Tired of the struggle. Tired of losing everyone that matters to you. That part. The vampire's dilemma. Turn to dust. Time is a curse. Mm-hmm. Long enough, Lazarus. Mm. That's a price worth paying. It's because you haven't experienced it. Mm -hmm. Thought he had a taste for fresh meat. Martha, no. <laughs> what are you doing? Get me out of trouble! Don't talk! Knees and chest, girls. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're doing it in Knees heels, too. <laughs> He's changed again. Keep moving. With Knees and chest. Come on, Martha. Where are they? That's a good question. I don't know. Tish. Tish. That's what it is. Yeah, Tish. My other baby mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a scene from Daredevil. Ooh. Oh, you're going to play Trying some... Trying to play uh, Bohemian Phantom Rhapsody. The, some Phantom of the Opera. Oh, there's a good acoustic in here. You're right about the whole uh, Venom thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Phantom of the Opera. Ooh. All right, sister, I need you to pull your pull big sister up. Cheeks out again. I heard naked again. Martha! Oh, there's no way that they can hear. That part. It's your doctor, you should be thanking. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he cut it a bit finer, didn't he? It always does. It's more fun that way. <laughs> See? She like, girl? <laughs> My boo thing. He's the doctor. <laughs> hey, girl, you just said a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. This dude keeps shaking death. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, not, not this time. All right. He went back to his early millions. Yeah, man. He went back to Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where he owed, where he owed Jesus a quarter. <laughs> oh well, you know, if you hang around with Beethoven, you're bound to pick a few things up. Hmm. Especially about playing loud. Sorry. <laughs> oh wait a second. It took me a second to get that joke. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of escalated then. I can see a pattern developing. You should take more care in the future. All right, Martha, he's he's kind of thick, so I'm gonna need you to take the lead. Okay. It's been fun though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so what'd you say? One more trip? You're like, hell yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I thought you liked it. I do, but I can't go on like this one more trip. It's not fair. I want some. I want all of it. I'm yeah. for a treat. I say you still see me. I'll stay here. There we go, Martha. He's too thick to get it. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, thank you, thank you! <laughs> mm. Well, you were never really just a passenger, were you? You like, look, we go together now. <laughs> yeah. As, as a matter of fact, let's go in here and get to a proper thank you. I'm, big, I'm the big spoon. Be back. I'm begging you. I know who this doctor is. I know he's dangerous. You're gonna get him. He, he's definitely dangerous. She ain't lying about that. This information comes from Harold Saxon himself. Harold Saxon. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Do we know Harold Saxon? I feel like we should know Harold Saxon. And that's something with Torchwood? That's what I'm thinking. Well, I just assumed that dude was from Torchwood to, to, to begin with. Um, hey, so, all right. So listen, we are on episode six. We're roughly around the halfway point. I think this what 10. I think this is about 14 episodes right this season. Let me uh, let me actually take a look real quick. Um, we're we're far enough along that we make a pretty good stern assessment as to the the strength of the series. It's 13 episodes in episode in season three. Um, so yeah, we're about a halfway mark, part, halfway mark, and I'd say uh, all of the episodes have been pretty good. Um, there hasn't really been mm -hmm. a a bad one. They've all been. Um, you know, must see, must see TV in a sense. And then, uh, you know, and I'm not going to lie, I do have a lot of bias because off of the strength of of the, the chemistry between, you know, our two leads. Um, how are you feeling so far regarding uh, the halfway point of the series so far? Um, everything you just said was cool. Uh, my bias is different, but you know, <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with the chemistry of the two leads. I'll tell you that. But, <laughs> but one of them leads, though... <laughs> He's one of them too. leads. She, uh -oh. Yeah, no. One of one of them leads. She's permanent on my dance card. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. And you know, and that's and that's not trying to be. You know, I ain't trying to be like too dirty, old man. But I ain't gonna lie. It just is what it is. You know, a thing of beauty is a joy forever, and it's just it does make you excited to tune in, and then you double down and no, then no, you see the family. That's but that's the beauty of watching this because this came out many many years ago. Yeah. Uh, in in real life irl you know we don't live our lives that way irl uh yeah she's up to she's our age yeah what, that is true Jeremy, you talking about yeah that that is that yeah. is quite true yeah and you know yes, and just we are the same age dear <laughs> and in case mm -hmm. you didn't know you know me and rakai we both some elder statesmen but we look good hey listen uh another thing That's that i right. <laughs> Another thing that I really enjoyed about this episode, it's another we haven't really like gone into the nuances in a little bit. You know, I, that's one thing I will say. Let me let me backtrack even a little bit more. Season one had a lot of societal questions that could be answered with each episode, right? You know, um, a little bit more in season two, but not as much as season one. So we're kind of really just getting into just some fun storytelling without there being like a societal lesson per se. Uh, and this episode didn't really have one either, but it did bring up an interesting conversation regarding either the gift or the curse of time, right? Um, I, I love vampire films and projects. You know, I'm, a, I'm an Anne Rice fan. I like Interview with a Vampire stuff. It's mm -hmm. just something about that lore that's just kind of fascinating. And one of the great things that Anne Rice brings up is, uh, especially when it comes to like the vampire Lestat, is he talks about the curse of time, right? And it's this thing that humans glorify because you can you know, live forever, see tomorrow, you know, be youthful and beautiful for the rest of your life. But as the doctor has proclaimed, it could be a curse because everything you know and love is going to pass you by. All the people you love are going to end up dying. The culture itself is even going to change and pass you by. You're going to become this lone thing lost in time. And we don't really talk about it a whole, whole lot when it comes to the nature of being a Time Lord. So now we get an episode to kind of like focus our attention back on that, on, on the gift or the curse of time, because we see this doctor who thinks that he's doing the world a favor by making sure that everybody can be can be young again. Uh, I'm curious as to what your, your thoughts are regarding like the curse of uh, or the gift of time. 
Um, you're right. Um, and the same, I'm a Anne Rice fan, and I love vampire stuff. Lord of the Rings, the elves seem to be immortal. Um, there was a movie came out on Netflix some years ago uh, with Charlize Theron called The Old Guard, mm. and I don't know what it was about her, but she was immortal, and it was you know humans got gifted, bestowed, or something happened, and um, they became immortal. And she, you know, went out and fought the good fight. And she had some other people around her that were part of her crew. And I remember seeing the worst thing I ever remember. Um, one of her crew, a, a young lady that was with her, was one of the first with her, where she thought she was alone until this lady was rolling with her. She got captured. Cause you know, back then, hell, even today, they probably just think you're a witch. Mm. She got captured. Um, and they put her like in a coffin in a box, chained it up and threw it off the side of a boat into the middle of the ocean. And it sank down to the bottom of the ocean. Now here's the thing, because she's immortal, she couldn't die. Mm. So she's chained up in a coffin, in a box, chained on the bottom of the ocean. And she would essentially die. Her lungs would fill with air and she would die. And then a few seconds later, she would wake up and die all over again. Mm. And that just is a perpetual loop oh, I can't even to go through the whole pain of that. That is the worst thing. Like I'm claustrophobic. Yeah. Um, and just, so just the whole thought of that, that is about the most cruel and most yeah. awful thing. I, and you couldn't even, you can't even take yourself out. Like you can't even die. Like, so like, like, uh, you know, uh, the doctor was saying, the thought of some people would look at the doctor's lifestyle. You got some swag, you got some charisma, you get to go everywhere, anywhere, at any time, and basically be James Bond, be James T. Kirk, and just, you know what I'm saying, have you a different woman at every port, or even, you know, find something to roll with you, your roses and your, your Marthas, or what have you. But at the end of the day, you can't move on with them people. Like, even if you put down roots and have a normal, mundane life, say with Martha, that's got a shelf life. That's only, a, that's finite, mm. you know? So she's, I don't know, 20 something, 30. Mm. You roll with her for the next 50, 60 years. But in that whole time, you still look like you're 32. Mm. Now she's 92, you know, and I'm sure that you still love her, but you have to be there and watch her die. Yeah. Watch your children get older than you and die. That is a cruelty that is unexplainable, and I don't want no parts of that. Yeah, yeah, that part. You know, um, I'm sure this probably won't be the last time we talk about uh, the when it comes to like being a time lord and the immortality and the curse of and the burden that he has to live with. Um, it's just the nature of just the character. But I was I am happy that we got a chance to spend a bit of just time to kind of like fine tune that a little bit. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk up real quick is that we really got a chance to know Rose's family or her, you know, really her mom and her dad for the most part. And then, you know, Mickey on the side, uh, they were uh, just a part of like the who lore, right? For the most part. Mm -hmm. um, it does feel a little odd to not see the companions family uh, in, in the mix because we've got, we've got so used to Rose, but now we're getting an opportunity to kind of see that happen again. How are you feeling about Martha's family? Well, you know, there's, there's a, a huge distinct difference between Martha and, and Rose, you know. Um, I'm not sure they haven't really said how old Martha is, but I'm assuming she's in her 20s. Right. Um, she's on the way to becoming a doctor. Um, Rose was 19, living at home with mom, you know, just working in a shop, just still trying to figure out life. You know, so, I mean, 19, what are you, a year, two tops removed from high school? Yeah, I mean, you're technically still um, a teenager. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, you are. Um, you know, so uh, Martha's a little bit more independent. Um, they have a weird dysfunction, you know, like uh, Jackie was on her own because the husband died. This, we have a different dynamic because they got a divorce and the father has moved on and got him a, um, 
the the white woman in tow, which that whole racial dynamic, that's a whole different ball of wax there to, to bring into a, a dysfunctional family. Yeah. And then the mom still has definitely some issues about this and maybe she's ultra protective of her kids but she's definitely do, she definitely still has some issues about it um, as probably and i'm saying probably because i don't know but um like most black families no therapy has happened um to help you deal with any of this and that's why you know the mom ran up on uh Martha, you know, and I got some information and you just met this man and you are going out of your way to tell us how dangerous he is. The man who just saved your life, by the way, yeah, saved the life of all these people in here, sacrificed himself. And, you know, your daughter made a choice. She's grown to go back in there and help him. So and I could see feeling some kind of way because mm. your doctor, your, your daughter is way into this dude that she just met and you can't really tell me nothing about him or haven't told me anything about him mm. like i got some questions but her mama is diametrically opposed to the doctor and everything the doctor because one another stranger whispering in your ear and let me tell you this dude is doctor like he kicks puppies and he mm. you know steals baby bottles from you know like <laughs> what <laughs> uh, <laughs> <you're> kicking puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, look, listen. That's the thing to make that piss people off more than anything. You could tell them uh, he kills people. You be like, and but he kicks puppies. <gasps> oh, he's a monster! <laughs> he's a monster! Unforgivable. <laughs> yes. Oh man, yeah. I think that's a good place to kind of like stick a pin in this. Hey, let us know uh, in the chat what you're thinking. Talk, let, I want to spark the conversation off of what do you feel about the nature of time? Oh, how do you feel about the switch up of the family? and the difference between the family dynamics. You can even speak culturally too as well because there should be some cultural differences uh, regarding these two different types of families. Uh, let us know how you're feeling about uh, Martha in general. And then of course, let us know how you're feeling about this series now that we're officially uh, at the halfway point. If you've been enjoying the conversation that me and Rakai have been having and want to be a friend of the channel, then please, please hit that subscription button. And of course, give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you dig it what we're giving you. And listen, for real, look, uh, it's me talking to you right here. Head on over to Rakai's channel. Let me, I'm gonna let, just let Rakai tell you a little bit more about this because that's where you get a chance to see the rookie of the year do his thing. Go on, Rakai, tell the people how to get in contact with you. <laughs> um, of course, you can catch me on my Patreon. Um, but really, I need you to. Uh, I'm on a quest now to get to 1K. I'm I am a rookie. I'm a first round draft pick, um, but. I'm trying to get up off the bench, get some get some points, get some get some reps in. Um, and you know, luckily I get to play alongside a superstar like Centel. So if you guys are fine, you know, that after you have watched all 1,000 videos on his channel, you don't have anything to do. Uh, you can come on over and check out my uh, you know, nine videos or whatever I got, you know, and I'm trying to put up more each and every week for you. We watch these shows and I get inspired and you know like like this particular one just something talking about time or hope or faith or lies whatever and uh i do a little bit more of a deeper dive and i kind of connect it to some of my own personal uh things so it's just me running off at the mouth as usual so um if you're so inclined find me at newt from the ville n-u-p-e-f-r-o-m-d-a-v-i-l-l-e -L -L -E because it's all about this, but especially this right here. Listen, don't worry if you didn't catch all of that. There'll be a link in the description with a clickable link. All you got to do is click it and then head on over there and hit that subscription button. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, let us know what we got right, what we got wrong. And the phone one is always what did we miss. But please, please, please keep it in the context of what we've seen. No spoilers because we are really, really enjoying this series. That's real talk. Um, we will catch you all on the next episode. All right, y'all. Take care. Peace.